Well, the last video that I put out was a response video. And it was a response video to GC Performance's video, Why Bikes Cost $13,000 USD. And I gave my points of what I thought about that. And if you haven't seen that video, go watch it up here because that'll give you some background information because this is really kind of part two of that video. So go check it out, guys. Now, at the end of that video, I made a bold statement and said, I reckon they could do the bikes for half and still make money. Okay, so to back that statement up, I went and did some research and can you really get a bike, a premium bike, which is very, very similar to these ones, but do it for half price. So let's roll that intro and let's just see if we can get there. Now the first stop on this half price build is I thought I'd go to Windspace. Now the reason why I picked Windspace is because they're a fairly well known Chinese brand and they've got a reasonably good reputation, their wheels have got a good reputation and I thought yeah there's some other brands out there from China that have got a good reputation but we'll start, we'll use Windspace. So I got to the, got to the website and I went to their most expensive frame that they had which is an aero frame and that comes out at 1480 for the disc brake version. So let's put that into the cart and let's secure that one. Now we've secured our frame, let's go and get the handlebar system. Now most of the bikes these days, these $13,000 bikes come with an integrated handlebar system. So let's just match that on this bike. So let's go and select accessories on the Win Space website, go down, for the handlebars, integrated handlebars, $290 USD, and let's lock that one in and stick it in the car. Now the next most important thing after the frame is some really nice sexy wheels. And we want something with a little bit of depth to it because it's an aero bike and we want it to look a bit sexy. So what I did is I went over to the Windspace website and I looked at their 60mm depth wheels, their LUN wheels, and those things work out about 1100. So we can either choose that, or I did find on Bikebug some Campanolio Boro 150s, which are about the same price, they're on special. So you could have a choice in this build, we could get the Campagnolio wheels, or we could get the Windspace wheels. I particularly would pick the Campo wheels because I just like the G3 design, I reckon it just looks sexy. So it's the same price, so we have no disadvantage on what it's costing us there. Then we have the group set. Now, because I would like to replicate what most people would buy, which is Shimano, we'll get the Shimano Durace Di2, the top group set that they make. And that one worked out to be, I think it was about, hang on, just let me check my notes here. That one there was $3,231 US on bike bug. So let's just lock that one and let's just put it into the car. Well, the next thing we need is some tires and tubes to go on those beautiful, sexy wheels. So I went onto Bike Bud again because Bike Bug is a fairly well-known agent and they have very reasonable prices. So let's just lock in. We'll get some GP5000 and tubes. So that comes to about a hundred and, hang on, let me just check my notes. That comes to $145. Then we have bar tape. Now let's just get the best. We just get the super crowds. Oh, I love that. It's nice and spongy. That's $45 USD. And I will pick my favorite seat because it's going to be my bike, which is an ISM. And that one's $177 USD. So we've got everything now to put this bike together. And I'm also going to allow a build cost, which is about $170. Let me just check that. No, build cost $150 USD. So we've got everything ready. We've got a my local bike shop because that's what I know what they charge to build a bike because I've built bikes with them before. And I've got all my components to build the bike up. So what we need to do is, is we just need to calculate that cost and see if we've reached our half bright target. Otherwise, it'll be for Wayno because he's talking rubbish. So... What is the grand total? The grand total is, wait for it, drum roll, 
$716. I didn't quite get there to halfway, but I got pretty close. So just give me a little bit of a uh, bit of slack there. Maybe my mouth was uh, opened up a little bit too early, but we, we got we got pretty close to the mark. So it really can be done. And I think that the components that I used are pretty fair quality components. Of course, if you wanted to have more expensive wheels, you could go for a more premium set of wheels. But uh, I think that the wheels that I offered on the bikes were pretty comparable to what you would get on a $13,000 bike from a big brand. So guys, I think that proves a point and uh, that, that all of these uh, items that you can put on a bike, it can be done for half price. And what you've got to remember is all of these components that I bought, all of the companies selling them are making money on those components. None of this has been like got through the back door. Every company that I've product I've bought, they're not losing money on these products. They're making money. So th this is these are real costs. If I was a, a manufacturer, I would get these components a lot, lot cheaper. So you could actually sell the bike for this price and you would make money because all of these companies selling these products that makes money. So that's where I'm gonna put my money where my mouth is and I believe it can be done. Now guys, if you've got any comments on what you reckon or if I missed something out or whatever, just leave them down below. But um, I'll put the prices in the description that I had so you can go and check them out and where I got them from. Okay guys, that's where I'm gonna leave it and I will see you next vid. Cheers.